This episode of Real Ale Craft Beer was brought to you by beersofeurope.co.uk, Britain's largest beer shop. It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brooklyn Brewery and it's a bottle of the American Ale coming in at 4.5% ABV. It's been described as a quaffable, easy drinking beer. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. I need one of them tonight. It's Here's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Woohoo! Lots of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Wow. Crystal clear amber colour. Nice levels of carbonation moving through the beer and it was a one finger white head that's dissipating quite quickly. Clear as a bell. Clear as a bell. Look at that. Lovely amber coloured beer. Should we get the aroma? Mmm. Quite malty. There are some American hops in there. It's a little bit fatty if I'm honest in the aroma. Maybe the slightest touch of DMS. Shouldn't say fatty, I should say DMS. It's a little, the smallest amount of rotten cabbage in there. That's the aroma you get from, from DMS, which is an off flavor in the beer. It's, it's slight, I mean it's not overpowering, it's slight but it's there. Let's dive in, cheers. Oh, and it's slightly there, well it's more than slightly there, it's in the taste. Quite surprised by this from Brooklyn Brewery. Let's have a look at the date of the bottle. It didn't go off until the 5th of the 1st, 2017. Well, that's American, so maybe the 1st of May, 2017, which is my birthday. We are only in August of 2016, so this beer's got about nine months left of shelf life. Uh, Ooh. Okay, it's incredibly drinkable. You got a little bit of malt. Not much of a hop profile in there. There's not even much bitterness. There's a sweetness, but then there's just that. It's DMS. It's 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 the flavour of rotten cabbage or rotten vegetables, should I say? In the UK, if you're watching from around the world, we have um, what we call food bins and we have to recycle. We have to recycle our food, uh, the, the waste. The council pick it up once a week. Um, and in return, you can go and pick up some a bag of soil that they say it produces and you can stick it on your garden when they finish with it. But um, it's just, when you open that food bin, it's a little bit of kind of rotten vegetables if you left it there a few days. I get that in the beer. Ah, that's a real shame. And I gotta be honest, I never thought Brooklyn Brewery would release a beer with, with any kind of DMS. I'm pretty sure they would have somebody to test each batch before it left the brewery. Uh, First ever beer from Brooklyn Brewery. Now, now I just recorded my 3,000th beer review, and I it was the the Brooklyn old original or some I can't remember the name of the, the beer now, but it was a vintage beer that was just absolutely stonking. It was one of the best beers I've drank all year. And then, and then a few days later, I open up another Brooklyn beer, and I've never had a bad beer from Brooklyn Brewery. Never. They've always been 
reasonably good and then some have been outstanding but this is it's a bit of a shocker to be honest it's a bit of a shocker um, how do you rate a beer with, with, with DMS in it I mean th there are people out there who are new to beer that may not even know what DMS is and they may open this beer and they may think oh this is craft beer and I'm gonna may go back to drinking lager after tasting this so that's the trouble the quality has always got to be there the quality has always got to be 100% otherwise you're just gonna drive people back into the arms of the macro breweries uh, how do you rate a beer with DMS I don't know 2 out of 10 2 out of 10 from Milo Craft Beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom and cheers